Hi, it's Aurelius, welcome back to the channel. In this video, you're going to learn how to create and sell Canva templates. It's a simple four-step structure that you can follow so that anyone, including yourself, can get started in selling Canva templates. All right, the first step is to come up with an idea for your Canva template. I've got a video showing some digital product ideas you can start with. I'll link it up in the description box below. But you can pretty much create a Canva template as long as you can actually design it in Canva. This includes things like checklists, planners, workbooks, ebooks, designs such as social media graphics. You name it, it all comes down to your creativity and imagination. But in saying that, you don't need to necessarily know how to design and have any creativity. I'll show you a way on how you can actually get all this design for you. Now, before you go ahead and start creating, I just wanna highlight something that you might or might not even think about, and that is Canva's licensing. I'll link this specific page in the description so you can carefully and thoroughly go through this yourself to do your due diligence. But scrolling down, there's a section where they talk about templates and publishing templates. What they're saying is you can sell templates and specifically they're saying, unless it's a template created for use on Canva, you can't use pro content, which is their paid plan in templates of any nature. But if you obviously are planning to design your templates in Canva, and also sell those templates for use on Canva platform itself, that is your users, your customers, then you are safe in doing that. But if you decide to design your templates in Canva, but then selling it for them to customize on other, another platform or another app, then that's forbidden. And scrolling down, you'll see this frequently asked questions section. And right here, can I sell products or merchandise with my design on it? It says, yes, all of our photos, fonts, and graphics can be used to create designs for printing on products for sale, like t-shirts, mugs, books, and other uh, merchandise, as long as you comply with their license. And essentially you can't just sell the actual content and that is like a stock image and then sell that as is since you do not own the copyright to that. Now with the licensing out of the way and hopefully giving you a bit more peace of mind, Let's go ahead and design. All right, first and foremost, obviously you need a Canva account. If you do not have one, look in the description where there's a link to Canva. Once you've signed up, click on create a design and this is where you set the dimensions and where you can select the kind of template you're wanting to make. You could very well just select a custom size if you know the exact dimensions. Otherwise, you can use one of these predefined suggestions and templates and formats. For instance, if you're wanting to sell ebook covers, you can select ebook cover. That'll select the right dimensions for it. There's no right or wrong that is, but these are suggested dimensions and the templates that do appear. And speaking of existing Canva templates, you'll see them under uh, designs. Now, this is maybe obvious, but you don't want to go ahead and use one of the templates that have already been designed because you wouldn't want to sell it. It's already available for Canva users to actually use. What you want to do instead is to come up with something unique. Yes, you can use some of these as inspiration and maybe a starting point, but don't sell them as is. I'm not going to walk you through the entire interface of Canva and how it all works. There's plenty of videos on that, but you can very well go ahead, design what you wanna design for your template. In this case, I've got this planner. It's just for demo purposes. I just brought up one of the templates inside Canva. But let's say you are going to be selling a planner or workbook of some sort where the customer or your students simply fill in the blanks. You know, you can design it in this way with the titles, with the boxes. You know, you've got plenty of options in terms of elements, playing around with different shapes different sizes, you've got text as well. Add in what you want. This is where your creative flair comes in. And of course, your concepts, your ideas and your systems and how you approach certain things. And if you recall when I said you don't need any creativity to start creating Canva templates to sell, what you can actually do is outsource the designs and creation. And one of the most cost-effective uh, ways is to simply go to fiverr.com. Simply do a search for Canva template and you'll see some gigs right here. This one right here says, I will design a Canva template uh, for your social media post. I will design social media posts, designs, different kinds of formats, different types of designs. 
But at the end of the day, it's going to save you time. And it's not a must, of course. If you want to go ahead and design it yourself, personalize it, customize it yourself, why not? But if you do plan on outsourcing, do ensure and double check with the designer, ensuring that yes, they are creating a template from scratch. All right, the next step, once you've designed your template, let's say I've designed, I've completed my planner that I wanna sell, that's 54 pages long. All you need to do to get that template link is to go to share and right here, you'll see a number of options. You've got collaboration link, and you've got people with access, you can ignore both of these actually. And you can see share on social. These aren't the options that you want actually. So what you're going to wanna do is click on template link. That's the option that you want specifically. The reason why is because if you provide a collaboration link, that means anyone who has the link and has a Canva account can then customize that particular design. And that's not what you want because if someone changes it, or makes a little edit here and there, then that particular design gets affected. What you want instead is this template so that anyone who has that link can make a duplicate or a copy of it. And that way it's not going to affect your main master template. Going back to here, you simply click on create template link. And this is the exact link that you wanna to provide to your customers, students, or what have you. Reversing just a little bit before you actually share your template, or sell it, what you wanna make sure you do is to format it in a way that makes it ready for them to use. So let's say you've actually got a design already that you use yourself. You wanna make sure that none of the text has anything to do with your brand, your business. So you wanna make it somewhat generic is what I'm saying. Moving on in the spirit of selling Canva templates, what you're going to wanna do is to make it presentable. So if you're going to deliver your link, you just don't wanna deliver it as a link, right? You may want to design a special PDF document to show them. It could be as simple as thanks for purchasing. You know, here are the steps to access your template and what to do. You could very well design it in Canva. Why not? You may have it open already. Or if you simply want to use a Google Doc or Word, you can do so, opening up a blank document and then giving simple instructions like what I've done here. You've got step one, get a Canva account. Step two, make a copy of the template giving them instructions rather than here's the link and then see you later. So right here, obviously you can design it the way you want using a heading one or title, using the fonts that you want. And then once you're done, what you're going to wanna do is head to file and we're going to download it as a PDF. Once you've prepared your deliverable, and that is this PDF doc that has instructions on how to access your template, you can start selling your template. And on that subject, which platform should you sell on? Well, I can recommend three specifically. The first is Payhip. Payhip simply will host your digital product, in this case, your Canva template, and that is it. There's no marketplace or people or eyeballs that will actually see your offer. It's simply a way to sell it so that you can integrate things like PayPal, Stripe, and a way for uh, them to simply deliver your template instantly after a purchase. And of course, it does a whole lot more, but I've got a full tutorial on this uh, and Payhip that is in the description box below. So if you want to learn more on what Payhip is and how you can start selling digital products, go ahead and use that link. There's also Gumroad, which is very, very similar to Payhip, except they've got this uh, section called Discover. And this essentially is their marketplace where your product could potentially be featured in things like your staff picks, uh, products by category. But in saying that, there's no guarantee that you will make any sales. There's criteria to meet. You got, you got to make a certain amount of sales and just show that, yes, you're a legitimate seller and you've made sales, you maybe you've gotten some feedback and then the, they may feature here. But other than that, it's kind of like going on Amazon. There's thousands of products on Amazon, but the chance of your product being right at the top 
or being featured at all is very slim. So don't rely heavily on the marketplace on Gumroad and other competitors too. Then you've got Etsy where you can also sell your Canva templates. Plenty of sellers do this as well. If you simply do a quick search for something like planners, journals, uh, templates, Canva templates. And speaking of which, you can actually get some pretty good ideas from Canva and those successful sales made on there. But I must repeat again, Etsy may be a marketplace, but the chance of your product being featured on there is slim, which is why it's always crucial to build an audience so that it's easier to sell to them through email marketing, through social media, your content, and what have you. A question or concern you may have is, now that you've created your template, how do you protect it? How do you protect it from being distributed and shared to others? Well, after having sold like thousands of copies of digital products of all sorts, my answer is that there's no real way of protecting it. It is difficult because yes, it's digital, first of all. And also once someone has the link to a particular download, it's basically uh, non-traceable. There are ways, there are some tools where you can password protect uh, your content. So that's why if you're using something like Google Docs, converting it into a PDF document, you can password protect it. And I do have a video specifically showing some ways on how you can protect your digital downloads. Link will be in the description box below. There are things like get them to, once again, enter a password to access a PDF document. There's also a way to trace and track uh, who has downloaded and how many times that user will customer has downloaded a particular file. And if they do share that specific file, you can ban them or like blacklist that user. Furthermore, that link doesn't have to be your template link as you saw in Canva. Uh, it will be automatically generated by the tool that I'll mention in the description box below so that it's always random, it's always unique. So that way you can disable a specific download file and then that will regenerate a new one. But those are some ways on how you can counteract uh, this issue. But 98% of the time, customers are quite honest. They're not gonna go out and distribute it and share it to the world. They would have to have some intent to it. And if they're profiting themselves, taking advantage of it, you know, that's only a very, 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 very small fraction of customers or people. So I wouldn't let it stop you from starting to sell uh, templates. But hopefully in this video, I've given you some insight and those core steps to follow so that you can start creating and selling Canva templates. Thanks so much for watching. And if you found this video helpful, by all means, give this video a quick thumbs up and I'm looking forward to sharing the next tutorial with you.